Hey everyone, this is Verdelt here, and today we have our third match from Lithio's World Cup uh, tournament. Uh, we won the first match against Venezuela, the second match was against Zimbabwe, and they um, he didn't show up in 48 hours, so he got disqualified, unfortunately for him. And now this match is against Japan, and if you don't know what's the ja what, what we have to do, we have to play within the colors of the flag, so mine is Saudi Arabia, the pokes have to have either white colors or green colors in them, and he's Japan, so he has to have white colors or uh, red colors. So as you can see, I gotta save Basculin against his team. So and I gotta put the stealth rocks up because he's he has a lot of fire types and the focus probably potential focus dash crowd out. So anyways, if I win this match, I'll go to the semi semifinal. I don't know if you call it that. Anyways, I lead off with Tetsujin. The Golark, he leads off with Meowstic. And this is obviously a light screen reflect Meowstic. So I take the opportunity to put the Stealth Rocks up. He goes for Reflect because he has a Prankster, he's faster anyways. I go for Stealth Rocks. And this is really important because he doesn't have Defogger or Rapid Spinner. So at this point, I decide to stay in because um, I want to stall the Reflect as much as possible. So I just go for Earthquake. He goes into his Crawdon, obviously wanting the sweep. With the Reflect, he can set up a Dragon Dance. So I go for Earthquake. This does decent chunk of damage considering that the Reflect is up. He goes for Dragon Dance. And I go for my second Earthquake. I'm not afraid of him using uh, Aqua Jet because I have uh, the red card. And the red card would, um, would kick him out and remove his Dragon Dance. So he goes for a Knockoff. And fun fact, red card doesn't activate when you faint. So... I faint here, that red card doesn't activate, so he has a plus one crawl down, but he dies from the life orb, luckily for me. He goes down and send out his Meowstic again. And uh, because it's a double down, I thought Basculin is the best choice. So here I make a huge misplay that that is that could cost me the match, which is putting Basculin against this thing. Being Thunder Wave is not good at all, even though I have Aqua Jet, but there is a high chance of me being paralyzed. It's a 25% chance, so... I go for Waterfall, Reflect is still up, this does acceptable damage as well. He goes for Psychic, and this does more than half, so... On the next turn, I'm forced to switch out. I go for Waterfall again, and this doesn't kill, unfortunately, but if he... If he, uh... uh returned his Pokémon to the Pokéball, he's gonna faint because of the Stealth procs. So I send out my Tyranitar, because I know he's gonna use Psychic. And the Sand Stream will be more than enough to finish him. So he goes for Psychic, as predicted. And Sandstorm takes his Meowstic out. And now he sends out his Pangoro. Um, I have Yen Mega, which is a perfect counter to Pangoro. Unless he has a Rock move. So I switch out, because I can double resist fighting moves. Go into my Omega, which is, which is named the Antera. He goes for Power Up Punch. I managed to take that very, very well. Uh, stealth Rock removes any... I mean, uh, Stealth Rocks and the Sandstorm removes any potential Focus Sash. And now I'll go for a Bug Buzz. And I have no idea if he's... Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to live that or not. But uh, luckily for me, and fortunately for him, I get a critical hit. But I'm sort of certain that the Bug Buzz would have been more than enough. Because Antara has pretty decent special attack. So now he sends out his Darmanitan. Darmanitans are usually either banded or scarfed. I figured he's scarfed since he sent it out like that. So I switch out. Go into my Tyranitar. The Godzilla. Because I'm predicting a Flare Blitz and I can take that well. But he goes for Rock Slide. Which is boosted by uh, his ability Sheer Force. So this rock, rock Slide does way too much. To the point where I'm certain that he's banded. So I decided to go for uh, for Dragon Dance, so I can outspeed and then crunch him and finish him off. Another Rock Slide does way too much damage. Considering it's not Stab, it's Space Power 75, it's very uh, very weak move, so he's probably banded. So I go for Dragon Dance, next turn, I go for Crunch to take him out, because Rock Slide's too risky, but he goes first! Which means that uh, he's actually Scarfed, so the damage is ridiculously powerful. So I go for Crunch. Take him out, luckily for me, but I'm at low range well, where um, <coughs> where Talonflame will take me out. But in my in my thought, he still has Charizard left. I'm not afraid of the Talonflame, but he has Charizard. If it's Charizard X, 
Furfara can take him out. If it's Charizard Y, the Sandstorm from Tyranitar would really cripple him. That This is why I saved my Tyranitar, even though it was at such low health and it's a very slow Pokemon. So I put my Furfuro, take the Brave Bird, it does nothing. Uh, I expect, I, I sort of thought he might roost, and I really don't want him to roost and start dance, so I went, uh, I could have went for return here, it would probably kill, unless he roosts. So I went for, uh, yeah, I used Toxic, he goes for bl Flare Blitz, you saw the Brave Bird damage, pathetic. But he gets a critical hit, that's very bad for me, uh, because Furfrog is one of, uh, probably my only Pokemon that can stand against Dragon Dancing Charizard X. So on the next turn, I decide to uh, not miss around and instantly go for return. Uh, now I go for, uh, he goes for another Flare Blitz, hoping for the burn. Uh, this does nothing. The crit could really... Uh, Made me at such low, low health. So I go for a return, take the Talonflame out. The last thing for him is Charizard. If it's Charizard X, I can use Toxic on it and Baby Doll Eyes. If it's Charizard Y, I can uh, send Basculin to Aqua Jet. As you can see, Stealth Rocks is doing a lot of damage. So Golark from the grave, doing some good job. No, he Mega Evolves. Turns out he he's Y. Had I went for Sucker Punch, would have probably made him at such low health that the match is already mine. But he, uh, I wouldn't call it a misplay. But I, I was afraid of using the Sucker Punch and then he Dragon Dance with his uh, Charizard X and destroys my team. So I think Toxic was the better option. But he takes me out to the Heat Wave. So I go into my Godzilla, the Tyranitar. Sandstream rages on, so no Solar Beam for him. We already saw the Heat Wave. Now we see the Dragon Pulse. There are two hidden moves. He takes my Godzilla out to the Dragon Pulse, obviously. Um, and now I send my Basculin out, and because Aqua Jet is a priority move, I can take him out easily. He goes for Protect, just to dish for Paralysis, I don't understand why. So I go for Aqua Jet, so we saw Dragon Pulse, Heat Wave, and Protect. His last move is Mystery. It's either Air Slash or Solar Beam. So I go for Aqua Jet, but unfortunately I get paralyzed, and he uses Dragon Pulse. Uh, this this is obviously going to kill my Basculin, sadly. But he gets a critical hit just to rub salt in the wound or whatever. So we take the, uh, Charizard is really making a scary-ass comeback. So I go into my Pumpkin, which is my last hope. If he has Air Slash, I'm done for. So I go for Hidden Power, and this doesn't kill. He goes for Heat Wave, so luckily his last move is Solar Beam and not Air Slash. So, uh, Sandstream doesn't kill, but take him down to the point where another Hidden Power would kill. Luckily for me, Volcarona takes the match and saves me from my horrible misplays. Or at least uh, two misplays. One of them is saving the Omega, because the Omega is obviously useless, because he has the Talonflame and the Charizard, both which are faster than Omega and can one-hit KO it. There was no reason for me whatsoever to save the Omega. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the match. I moved on to the next round, which is against, I am not sure. You can check the link in the description to see the colors and to see uh, the current my current place. And hopefully you enjoyed. And yay for home music. See ya.